All right, Alyssa, well, firstly, how's it been for you being, you know, back in, in the side as well uh, the last couple of weeks? Um, yeah, no, it's been good. It's been a pretty tough season for me, just not getting much game time. I think I came into the season um, in a really good mindset and just wanted to put my best foot forward, and unfortunately I haven't really been getting that game time. Um, so I've had to work pretty hard outside of here to you know, um, show Paul that, you know, I am good enough and I can do it. Um, and I've been kind of eyeing up that Western game for a while because I knew the international girls would be away. Um, so I'd just been kind of had a wee schedule and just wanted to work really hard for that. So I was glad I got that opportunity and that was my second start. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really go the way we wanted, um, but I was just happy to get 90 minutes in and it's always a privilege to play for the Phoenix. So I was you know, just happy to be out there again and hopefully there's more starts for the rest of the season, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. how did you think you went just personally rather than as the same? Um, yeah, it was tough. I felt pretty confident. I think I'm getting more and more confident um, as the season's going on and more comfortable with my ability. Um, but yeah, it was a tough one. I don't think I got a lot of ball. Um, so every time I kind of got the ball, I just wanted to do show what I could do. Um, but yeah, it didn't really fall for me, but I was, you know, just happy to get 90 minutes in again and yeah. And how tough has that competition been in the midfield in particular? It seems like there's so yeah. many players fighting for just three spots every week. Um, yeah, no, it's really tough. I think we have great depth in the midfield um, and we've got absolute bowlers who, you know, I'm competing against. And I kind of knew that coming into the season, um, but I thought I had a really good pre-season, so I was pretty stoked with that. But obviously, you know, I was ranked a bit lower than others in terms of what Paul thought. Um, so I did have to work really hard. And then, unfortunately for the girls, we got a couple injuries, which I guess, you know, um, good timing for me. I kind of flicked a bit of a switch and just grinded. And that was at the same time when I kind of got my first call up um, to be back in the squad against Victory, I believe it was, who we're playing actually. Um, so, yeah, I had to work really hard. But, you know, um, I just, yeah... Just excited for more minutes, hopefully. Yeah, how, how <laughs> difficult was it over that time when you mm. weren't given the opportunities to, to try and remain positive and, mm. and keep trying to force your way into the side? Yeah, no, that's definitely something I struggled with a bit. I think um, being a professional footballer, that's kind of what you sign up for, the highs and the lows. Um, yeah, I definitely did struggle with it, but I think Auckland was a turning point for me. I kind of went home early, I was struggling a bit yeah. mentally, um, and kind of got a group around me and was sort of like at breaking point really and was like, okay, I either just grind and work through this or, you know, I don't and just give up, you know, sort of thing. Um, and thankfully I chose just to grind um, and that has really paid off you know I'm putting in a lot of hard work outside of here on top of another job so it's been pretty hard for me um, and you know your confidence sometimes does decrease when you're not getting those minutes and that's something I've really worked on I've taken back um, the feedback that Paul's given me and just trying to work with that and just do the best I can. Yeah a lot of the team have got jobs outside of yeah. football what, what are you doing? Oh gosh, I like do like ventilation or something. I don't really know what it is. I'm like customer service for me, but okay. yeah. So I'm just I work five hours a day, um, just on the phones for a ventilation company. Um, so I work on away trips as well. So it's been new to me because I haven't really had a job outside of football, but um, it's def definitely like I need it to be functioning, um, and it's a good distraction as well. So I'm glad I kind of have that. Yeah, is it, is it nice in some ways to have that time away from football? So it's yeah. Like it's football 24-7. Yeah, no, I love football. I'm pretty football fixated, so I'm watching it whenever I can, and it consumes your brain, like everyone will say that. Um, so it's good to just have that time where I have to focus about something else, whether I want to or not. Um, but that five hours a day, you know, it can be tough, but, you know, I'm glad I do have that. Yeah, and for you personally, what are your goals for the rest of the season? Because March is going to yeah. be quite frantic. Yeah, the season's coming around really quickly. Um, yeah, I just want to get as much minutes as I can. I don't really know what happens post-season. Like, I know my contract runs out, so I just want to make the most of it while I can, um, playing for the Phoenix. And I think I'm getting better and better each game. And, you know, we're into that part of the season where results really matter. Um, and I think I love performing under pressure, like I love that aspect of it and I think you know we need to be performing game in game out for the whole 90 so I hope that I can secure my spot on the team whether that's on the bench or starting hopefully more starts but um, yeah I just want to play as much as I can um, while I can in a Phoenix shirt.
Yeah. And as a team, does the team still have that belief that you can you know, make the top six for the first time? Oh yeah, 100%. I think we've got a very good team despite all our injuries. I think we're more than good enough to make the top six. Um, we're just at that part of the season, like I said, where it really matters. Like Each game is so important. Um, I think anything less than top six we'd be very disappointed with. So each training, each game is huge and we all know that. I think internally we you know, think about it a lot more than we speak about it, but we all know know that it's huge and we're definitely going to be making that top six. Yeah, it starts with Melbourne victory doesn't it? Mm. The, the Sunday as you yeah. mentioned you played them previously, yeah. uh, not daunted by the challenge of playing them in Melbourne? Um, no definitely not, I think when they came we played them at home last time, I think um, we probably could have got more out of that game than what we did so I think it was a pretty end to end game um, and it was tough, I think they're a very good side, I think yeah, we definitely have to respect them a lot, I think their midfield is you know, an absolute yeah, ballers, um, so I think it'll be a battle between the midfield um, for sure but I think we can definitely go there and hopefully get three points, that's the goal.